Sick Designs here. Uh, I'm back again, and today I'll teach you how to make this effect. Alright, so uh, not an animation this time, but uh, just a realistic looking sphere. Now this will work with any object you choose. I just happen to use a sphere because, I don't know, I just think it looks cool. Alright, so first off, like always, we're going to go into our render settings, change a few things around. Um, as always, HD, because that's what I like. And then we can just uh, go down here, and we have uh, not even have to mess with that. Then we'll go up here to the format, and we'll select JPEG. Looks pretty good. And then anti-aliasing again. Change that to best, and then 8x8. And we'll go ahead and uh, select the place where we want to save this. And then go ahead and name uh, name the file. So in this case, I'm just going to call it Realistic Sphere because that's what I'm going to use. And then I'm just going to hit Save. And oh yeah, one more thing. Uh, we're going to go down to Effect under Render Settings. Select Ambient Occlusion and Global Illumination. Now keep in mind, selecting these two options here will increase rendering time just a bit. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Alright, so now that we've got everything, uh, first thing we're going to do is drop down a, uh, a sphere, or in whatever, it doesn't really matter, you can use whatever you want. I'm just using this for uh, the tutorial. Okay, and uh, next thing we're going to do is go down here, uh, create a new material. Um, I'm going to make this, I'll make this uh, kind of a bright yellow. Let's say right about right about there looks good. And as always, I would uh, suggest using uh, reflection and luminance. Uh, bring the luminance down to about uh, 15 to 20 percent. I'm just going to make mine about 20 percent luminance, and then go down to reflections and bring that down to about 40. 40 looks nice. Okay, and uh, go ahead and exit out of that, and then just drag this on here, and we can see what we've got already. Nothing really, nothing that great. Uh, we need some lighting, so um, that's the next thing we're gonna do. I'm actually using, I guess you'd call it a plugin. Um, it's called Grayscale Gorilla, and it's got some presets you can put in here, like uh, soft boxes and different lighting techniques. And uh, there's videos out there that show you how to install that uh, or download it, install it. It's pretty easy. But uh, if you already have it, you just go to Window, go to Content Browser. And uh, since I'm recording here, my uh, computer is being a little laggy. Okay, and then uh, you just go down to presets and then click on Grayscale Gorilla, and it'll bring all this stuff up. Uh, I just would select, um, I do an overhead softbox for a nice reflection. Just double click that, automatically adds it in there. Okay, and then the next thing we need to do is we need to add in a floor. So we're just going to select this, go down to floor, okay, and make another material. Uh, click on color, make this all the way white, and then add some luminance. Uh, once again, maybe about 15% here, or about 20. Just bring that up to 20. And then we'll do reflection and do about 25% reflection. Now let's do 30. 30% reflection should look pretty good. Okay, and then just drag this onto the floor. Then next thing we're going to do, uh, Let's go up here and go down to sky and we're also going to do pretty much the same thing there so we're just going to uh, select this last mat we made to put on the floor control C control V that copies it and then just drag it on to the sky and then we're going to go to right click on the sky tab and go to cinema 4D tags and then go to compositing and then uh, check off scene by camera Okay, there we go, and that should just affect uh, our object here. So if we go ahead and render that, go ahead and see what we got going on. And this is pretty much it, guys. It's really that easy. Um, so yeah, there you go. Um, now that may be a little bit too bright for your liking. I don't know. It just depends, but uh, it definitely stands out 
And uh, like if I remove this guy here, I just take this off and render that again. Or press the render preview button. It'll actually, you should be able to see the soft box up ahead, that nice little reflection we got going on there. And that looks pretty decent there. Um, so right here you can see the reflection of the soft box, the light up ahead, which adds a little uh, nice little touch to it. And then down here we've got some shadows, and yeah, all in all it looks, uh, it looks pretty good. Um, so that's that. Um, another thing you could do is uh, if you want to adjust, we can uh, take the luminance off the floor and uh, increase the reflections just a bit to maybe, say, 60%. Recheck luminance back on there, leave it about 20, and then render this, and we should get a little, uh, pretty nice reflection uh, off the, the floor here. So go ahead and let that render, and we'll see. So yeah, you can see it reflecting on the floor here slightly, uh, just enough that it catches the eye, which adds a nice little touch to it. And also we've got reflections on the on the sphere of um, the floor that it's sitting on. So uh, yeah, when you're done with that and you've got your everything set up in here in your render settings, all you got to do is click this middle button here, and uh, it'll go ahead and render it for you. And that's what it's doing here. And I've got a fairly decent computer, it's fairly fast, so this won't take that long, but depending on your computer speed, uh, this could take a little bit of time, uh, mainly because we're using the ambient occlusion and uh, global illumination, That those uh, two options are quite a render hog, but um, it doesn't take that long. I mean, for, for a picture, it doesn't take that long. Now, if you were actually doing an animation here, it would actually take quite some time. And um, I just made a animation using some of these similar settings uh, last night, and it took about 7 hours and 22 minutes to render. Uh, that's actually on my channel. But, um, so yeah, there you go. That's going to be our final product. And um, you can see that by uh, right here. It's saved on the desktop. I can just double-click it and view the image. And uh, that's it. It's in high definition, and there you go, guys. So uh, that's pretty much it, and um, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys later in my next tutorial. Um, just uh, please subscribe. Please rate my videos. Please comment on them. Um, I would really appreciate it. Uh, it means a lot to me, and uh, I do put in a lot of work and time into these videos, so a little bit of you know thanks every now and then or something to show, show some appreciation. Uh, makes me feel good, so, yeah, um, that's it.